Hey everybody, AP here. I'm printing out a costume on my 3D printer and I've run into the problem as probably many of you have where a piece of armor is just way too big for the print bed. I'm printing on a Prusa Mark 2.5S uh, and the print bed is relatively small uh, and I have one particular piece of uh, armor for, that I'm printing out uh, that is just way too big. So I need to slice it into different pieces. And I did it one way uh, in a slicing program and it caused me a lot of grief um, because I'm scaling up pieces and, and the way the system, um, uh, I was cutting it in the system, it just didn't produce uh, consistent results when I was printing out the individual pieces after I had sliced them out. Uh, so I did some research and I discovered this program called Mesh Mixer by Autodesk. Uh, it's the same company that actually made uh, Fusion 360, which is the program I use to do my uh, very minor 3D designing. Uh, and so I wanted to show you guys how to bring a larger piece into your into Mesh Mixer and slice it up. First, uh, I just want to show you how this piece looks on my, my tiny print bed. Uh, let's delete these pieces here. Okay, so as you can see, this piece is way too big for my print bed. Uh, this light blue area is actually the maximum width and height of my print bed and the dark blue is all the stuff that just wouldn't print. So this is no good. So I need to cut it into pieces. So I think um, the way to do this is I'll cut it into four pieces, one down the middle here and then one across the middle here and uh, we'll glue it all together because that's what you do when you have a small print bed. So I'm going to import this STL into Mesh Mixer and uh, don't judge me for my lack of organization. Okay, so I've loaded in the, uh, the STL into Mesh Mixer. Uh, oh, it's also uh, important to note, uh, Mesh Mixer is a free download. So you don't have to spend any money because why would you wanna do that when you're already spending a ton of money on filament and 3D printing parts and all other kinds of crazy stuff to uh, support our habits here in the maker community. Okay, so I am, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to scale this up. So I've been scaling up the armor pieces uh, to 105%. I'm a, I'm a slightly larger guy. I'm 6'2", I'm 230 pounds, uh, I'm broad up here. And, uh, and so I wanted to make sure that I have a little bit of um, room to work in in the armor. So uh, the first thing I need to do to scale this up is I'm going to click on edit. And then I'm going to click on transform. And you can see here scale X, scale Y, and scale Z. So that's currently one. I'm going to change that to 1.05. And that just makes it a little bit bigger. And uh, hopefully once I had it all glued together and I try it on, it doesn't look completely foolish on me. Uh, so I'm gonna click accept here. Accept, okay. Next, I am going to plain cut. So I just go back to edit plain cut. And so as you can see now, it has overlaid the plane onto my STL. And it actually got it pretty nicely centered right there. So I think I'm going to make, I'm going to make, like I said, I'm going to cut uh, this into four pieces. So I'm going to make my first cut here. Uh, this is my horizontal cut. And so cut type is cut. I'm going to slice and keep both and the fill type is a remeshed fill I I don't know what any of that means uh, but that seems fine to me let's why not remesh it so I'm gonna click accept so while it doesn't look like nothing happened uh, something did happen. When you do a plane cut, it actually cuts at, uh, at zero so you're not going to see it but I can then um, well, when I split this into shells, I'll be able to select each individual piece that I just sliced out. Uh, but because it's a zero plane cut, you're not going to see anything. Uh, let's see. So now I'm going to click edit again. I'm going to do the plane cut. And now I have to rotate it so it's vertical. And as you see here on the screen, um, 
I, if I click on this, I can, I can rotate it. Now, if I just drag out a little bit, I can now snap, which is very helpful. So I'm going to snap this to 90 degrees. Now I have my vertical. I'm going to cut, keep both, cut, keep both. Yes, no, what's going on here? Keep both, there you go, okay. Uh, except, okay, I've cut it. Now the last thing I need to do is separate the shells. What that means is it's gonna take all the cuts that I just made and separate each of those four pieces into uh, four different shells. So separate shells, and that's gonna take a second. Oh, I clicked too fast. So now you can see over here in the object browser, I have four shells. One, two, three, four. And so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select this, and I believe I export as an STL. Right, okay. So let's put this, we'll just put it on my desk documents. Uh, and actually I'm gonna put this in my Biker Scout folder. And so this is, I'm gonna save this as, uh, so this is the back armor, uh, bottom left, save. Computing, 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 complete. Uh, I'm going to export this one. You have to do them all at the um, individually, which is kind of a pain. So uh, this is bottom right. So now if I go back to my slicer program, uh, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to go to my biker scout and I'm gonna click on back top right and there you have it. It now fits on the print bed. I can now print this out. Um, so, and I'll print them out all individually or I can add in, uh, I can arrange a couple pieces on here. So they print nicely, although I wouldn't probably print it that way. Uh, Actually, with this, because it's PET and it's a long print time, I would probably print each of these one at a time, and that's okay, because I'll just set the printer overnight, or I'll set it while I'm at work, and all the magic happens when I'm not looking. So, yes, so that's how you slice things up in Mesh Mixer. Uh, I hope that helped you. If you uh, enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you found it helpful, let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody.